yeah, you know, going back to that, back to that point about like it's just chosen suffering, right? Yeah. And, and ice is another option to make your make that moment in your life a little bit more difficult to to callous the mind to be in a position where we actively choose not to go down the easy route and there might not be any other motivation other than to to maybe toughen up a little bit because mm -hmm. you know I think everyone's really aware that life has a way of throwing a curveball at you every now and again and sometimes when you see these people that have had easy lives and they get themselves into a situation where life gets tough you know they don't handle it well and whether it's exercise like really brutalizing yourself in training or you know, hitting the streets for a long run and, and pushing your limits or staying in the sauna, fasting for long periods of time or any anything, any discipline that requires a little bit of suffering just gets the body in, and the mind in a place of deep, deep gratitude for everything that you've got around you as well. So it's, mm. it's in terms of a, a, a good stress, yes, of course. Um, should it be abused? like anything no of course not is it always the right time to get into the ice no no, no. Um, for us it will be about maybe a small assessment about the current stresses that are going on in their lives do we want to add more physiological stress is it the same right because exercise is an acute stress but still there's certain pathways in the brain that change physiology massively from when we exercise even though it is an acute exercise mm -hmm. i think the danger in our modern world is the constant exposure to that low level stress the low level stimulus the bills that come through the door each month the rent yeah. that keeps creeping up and that exposure to a continuous mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. low level Chronic stress yeah mm -hmm. but it doesn't even have to be quite sometimes it can be so it's so little that it's not even worth complaining about but it degrades the quality of life yeah. it impacts your sleep impacts your happiness impacts your mood your digestion and, your and, it's, yeah, well. and then everything starts yeah, to slowly well. and the worst bit is when it's not it's not acute it's easy to get used to it's easy to accept it's easy to find that that's your new normal yeah right? and sometimes that i think that's the real danger i don't think the ice baths is ever going to be a position where it could be heavily abused. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I think, I think, I think we see the, the impact of the abuse of training quite frequently. Yeah. People are getting addicted to the the endorphins, to the you know the um, the exposure of um, an opiate essentially, and how that can then impact people's anxiety, depression, and they're not informed about it, but there's just, I just can't believe there's any situation when someone's going to overdo the ice, 